Right now, we're at the point in time where technology has provided us with low-cost and uh, easily deployable solutions for uh, gaining a multiplicity of information for large-scale large structural systems. The appropriate processing of this information may uh, guide us into the optimal management of these systems from cradle to grave. So innovation is not a concept, but a way of thinking. Uh, by bringing together into the discussion of the world of information, the academia and the industrial partners will be definitely the best approach for the next generation of ACGEN database technologies. This COS 1902 uh, is a fantastic opportunity. Um, we bring here together in a very novel setting uh, theoretical frameworks and applied engineering and are pushing the boundaries of the uh, general body of knowledge. This provides the uh, facilitation of uh, leading uh, industrial uh, innovations and it significantly supports sustainable and resilient societal developments. This action is worthwhile following. Action is organized through several working groups. Uh, we have uh, the first one uh, that sets up a theoretical framework. We have uh, the second one that is trying to reveal uh, the link between a certain performance indicators and uh, a certain type of structural performance. We have a group that is uh, revealing the best uh, case studies. Uh, we have a group that is dedicated to dissemination, to a different target groups, so let's say. Uh, uh, people from industry, uh, stakeholders, uh, researchers, practical engineers. We have innovation committee, they uh, help us with some advices for future progress and we have uh, external advisors from abroad, from outside of uh, Europe who share uh, their knowledge uh, uh, with us. One of the research areas that I work in is structural health monitoring and I'm attending uh, this workshop uh, because I'm particularly interested in what European researchers are doing under this cost action plan um, where they're establishing ways of quantifying the value of information coming from structural health monitoring systems and as far as I know there is no organized activity on this challenging topic uh, in the United States. So um, I am, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, is the outcome of the research over the four years of the project and hopefully beyond. One of the most important objectives of this cost action is the development and demonstration of a case study portfolio. Uh, this is the scope of Working Group 4, where a portfolio of practical case studies is developed 
in order to demonstrate the applicability of the value of information concepts. This will enable us to see uh, the potential, the practical potential of these uh, methods, but it will also uh, discover and expose problems and issues that are related to the practical application. So it will, uh, for the for the management or for the people managing uh, infrastructural systems, it will be very educative to see these case studies and it will uh, in provoke uh, the further application of these uh, methods. This exchange program is meant for both um, experienced and early stage researchers um, to visit another of the participating institutions in the same action and uh, enhance their own network of collaboration. But actually this program is not just about um, research mobility, it's much more. It's a mentoring program and it's uh, very well suited to early career researchers to um, exchange knowledge, get more mentoring and um, uh, enhance their professional development and build long-term collaborations. The scientific networking project Cost Action T142 is about quantifying the value of structural health monitoring. We know that structural health monitoring can have tremendous benefits, but we may also end up in the situation that we have a lot of data which are not all really relevant. So that's why we need to know the value of the structural health monitoring before. Only then we are able to implement optimized structural health monitoring. We are able to reduce the costs and the risks of the structural integrity management. And only then uh, we are able to impact industry and society. Uh, the cost action is also an opportunity to meet, to share knowledge and to know each other working on a research project. Uh, we meet during workshops or uh, uh, brainstorming sessions in uh, smaller groups and uh, we are always uh, glad to welcome new participants uh, that can join us uh, throughout uh, the entire duration of the action. And this is the scientific networking but uh, links between people uh, grow and improve also during uh, social moments. And so we always try to have the chance to be together at a shared dinner or during a late afternoon jogging. But uh, all this uh, networking, uh, what for? Uh, well, the network makes us uh, stronger, uh, allows us to uh, face new and wider uh, research challenges, and uh, as a byproduct, uh, it increases the European research and innovation capacity. And that's why the cost actions are really great research projects.